Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing. You probably saw the last video where I showed you lots of, well, I answered lots of questions about the brand new Versa Coat, Versa Clear, not sure what the name is yet, but it is my polymeric resin with ceramic, if you will. So it's like a liquid paint protective film slash clear coat slash ceramic coating. It's really awesome stuff. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, spoiler alert, I'm gonna tell you that I know what the outcome of these tests I'm gonna show you are. One of the biggest things that people ask me when I talk about this product and I refer to boats specifically is, is it resistant to acid? Well, yes. The other question I get asked, and I was just asked on Facebook and I figured I would uh, go ahead and shoot a video. Uh, because I have all the materials here to shoot this video and I can show you what's up right now. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I was asked, how does it hold up to bug and tar removers and sap removers and that kind of thing? So when it comes to removers, a lot of times they are more alkaline than they are acidic. So if you look at the pH scale, uh, between seven and eight is generally a perfect pH neutral, if you will. So if you go up on the pH scale, you're going alkaline. If you go down, you're, you're going acidic. So we're gonna do two tests real quick uh, on video so that you can see what's going on. What I have first, um, I don't have any other acid here, but this is some pretty potent stuff. This is actually, this is Eagle Etch and Clean. I use this to etch the concrete floors here in the, sh the shop before I put a, um, another Eagle clear coat on the floors. So this is a very heavy duty hydrochloric acid. Um, it says it right there. So what I'm gonna do, you can see this area right here looks very nice and shiny. So what I'm gonna do is, this, this is diluted uh, to, to use it on the floors. I'm going to use this straight right here on the product. No, I'm going to use it straight right here on my fingers and everything. So I got it on the towel and I'm just going to you know, wipe it on there and just leave it for a minute. And I'm not going to cut the, uh, the video, but what I am going to do is walk over here and rinse off my hand. You can call me a big dummy for not uh, covering that hand with a glove, but I did spill it on my hand and then I went and rinsed it off. So anyway, acid, big deal, right? So I've let it sit there for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. I don't know, however long this has been. Um, we'll just leave it for a little bit more. Um, actually, while that's sitting there, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the alkaline situation. So Tiger's Blood Cleaner is the strongest cleaner that you can buy at DetailJuice.com. In the concentrate form, it is roughly 14 on the alkaline scale. So when you dilute it, it is not as potent as it is when you get the concentrate. Most products like this on the market are not going to be that high unless they're a concentrate. Once you start diluting it, that, that number goes down significantly. So anyway, um, I always mix my tiger's blood roughly two ounces to 14 ounces in a spray bottle, and that is super strong. It removes road tar, sap, bugs, all that stuff awesomely. So we'll do another test with this right there. So now that we've let that acid sit there for a while and do its thing and potentially mess up everything and all of that, we're gonna go ahead and just wipe that off just like so. And um, for shits and giggles, this is just water. I actually used this to polish this side earlier. Going to find that it is very acid resistant. 
didn't damage, didn't etch, didn't remo like remove the product, nothing. Looks great. No problem at all. Acid resistance, check. Now again, this is a high alkaline situation over here. And uh, well, not high in the ready to use form like most products would be, but um, if I had some concentrate, wait, I do, hold on. Okay, so the reason I'm not cutting this video up and like I generally would to compile it all in segments so that all the B-roll or whatever is cut out so it's not boring, I want you guys to see this in real time. I don't want you, I don't want there to be any questions about, oh, it's video trickery or any of that stupid shit. I don't do any of that. I do real world testing. That's what I'm known for and that's what I'm giving you right now. So. That's been there, but this is actually the concentrate. So, very little left here. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this concentrate on this towel, and I'm gonna wipe it right here. So that's the concentrate right there. That would be roughly 14 on the alkaline scale, like I mentioned before. Um, trying to find some towels. So keep watching that so you know it's true. But I thought I had another roll of shop towels open, but I don't. So we are gonna open a brand new roll. I really dig these towels too. Um, you can get them anywhere, Walmart, AutoZone. Um, they're very soft. They work well for applicators as well, for some things. Um, anyway, so it has been more than enough time for that to do some kind of damage if it's, if it's going to. Um, so I'm gonna wipe that off now, just like so. We're gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of water, just so that it'll wipe a little bit easier. Didn't change the gloss, didn't ruin anything, didn't take any product off, didn't create any damage, nothing. So that has been a hydrochloric acid test, which you saw, great results, no problem. And a high pH, yeah, high pH, which would be your alkaline. So we did an alkaline and an acid test on the VersaCoat, VersaClear, haven't decided the name, but that's where we're at. So uh, if you guys got questions, let me know. Uh, if you want training for applying this product, I do offer that, whether it's me coming to you or you coming to my new shop, great place to work, I love this place. Um, but yeah, the acid didn't affect it. Um, a lot of guys will acid wash boats because Gel coat's very porous, and if you go through dirty water, it actually, the, 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 the dirtiness in the water will soak into the gel coat, creating a water line, um, and it looks bad. So the easiest and most effective way to remove that is to spray it down with acid. Now, there are many different types of acids. There's uh, sulfuric, which is what our hole brightener is, um, which this also is resistant to that. There's muratic, which is super nasty, heavy-duty stuff. That resistant to that as well. Uh, and then hydrochloric acid, uh, which actually, I'm pretty sure when you mix water with muriatic acid, it becomes hydrochloric acid. Uh, I think that's how it works. Anyway, uh, it's resistant to all the acids you'd use on a boat. Perfect, because use your acid, it's okay. Just uh, obviously you wanna use your best judgment when you're using anything. Um, and wear gloves and a respirator when you're spraying this stuff, or even use an acid because this stuff's heavily potent. But um, if you got questions for me, 813-846-4406. If you want to be inst an installer, reach out to me. This product, this clear, 
this versa coat versa clear situation will be available on detailjuice.com March 1st, 2023. Let me know if you got questions, guys. Either leave them in the comments or reach out to me directly. Send me a text message. Check me out on Instagram at gary.dean.35. I'll put it right there. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Um, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs and watch out March 1st. That's the day every year that I launch all the new stuff for that year. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.